Hey groupies, welcome back to Formal Therapy. I'm the video channel producer, you can call me PD, and today we are reacting to Stray Kids' I Am Not trailer. Now, if you guys are not familiar, I don't do teasers, I don't do trailers. However, someone told me that this is not a music teaser slash trailer, it is a cinematic trailer. So, yeah, I'm down with that. Now here's the thing, I don't do teasers and trailers because I like to consume the song in its entirety. I don't like to listen to the chorus or like, I don't like to listen to a sample from the song because it raises my expectations and I formulate this idea of what this song is gonna sound like in my head. And I've had instances where I've heard the chorus of a song in a teaser before and I'm like, oh my God, this chorus sounds amazing. And then the rest of the song is shit because I expected a completely different kind of buildup. So that's why I don't generally do teasers, but I heard that this is a lot more cinematic and I am a video producer and director and writer after all so i will be checking this out and see what it's like but before we get into it i just want to say that this video is brought to you by our final teespring merch sale go ahead and get this red velvet bad boy design this soft pd design or any other designs we have at the store teespring.com slash stores slash final sale sale ends march 31st go ahead and get them while you can now let's get into the reaction this is your form of therapy okay i assume it's like a dark Pretty concept. I mean, it's Stray Kids, right? They say they say are born different. But why does it feel like we're the same? Us brainwashed into the same system. They expect perfection. Okay, so it's like a neo future vibe. A sign, a sign, an omen, an omen, a glitch. So it's got that vibe of like everyone's everyone's a sheep. Everyone's a follower. It's, it's like a dystopian future society. Interesting. It's like he's watching the TV and he's smiling. It's like, it's almost like society's feeding the lie to him that he's happy when he's really not, right? Oh, this rooftop scene with all the mirrors is interesting. It would have been a bitch to film, for sure. So I assume eventually they're gonna I don't know, unlock something, start a revolution. This is very cinematic. I missed what that said. Very tiny. Oh my god, the jaw on this guy. The nose on this guy. I wonder what that VR or AR set was supposed to symbolize. This really dark bass line is very ominous. It's it's a good teaser it's a good teaser soundtrack. It's not already over, is it? Oh, I was just getting into it. Fuck. Fuck! Well, fuck. This is why I don't do teasers. Now I'm like all pulled in and I'm just like, I need more. I need the finished product. A lot of teasing here, not many answers, just a lot of questions. The music video production looks like it is gonna be high quality. Now, is this officially their debut? Cause I know the mixtape was their pre-debut mixtape. So is I Am Not gonna be their debut song? If it is, they're gearing up for something pretty epic. Because if you think about it, Elevator, Young Wings, grr, all of that, you know, technically, 
those were very budget performance music videos. They weren't music video music videos. You know what I mean? They didn't feel grand and epic. It was impressive because they were very talented rappers and singers, but the music video production itself was very simplistic. Now, is this gonna be their actual debut? And is that why this is such an epic teaser slash buildup? And is it gonna have a whole storyline element to it? Because I feel like a lot of music videos these days have been lacking a good storyline element. You know, BTS hasn't done it in a while and they were a big purveyor of that. And you know, I think the last one I could genuinely remember is maybe Beautiful by 101, but that was too much. That was like a straight full on movie. There was no performance, none of that. I want like a good mixture of performance, choreography, singing, but also a story. So hope that this is that. I think the vibe I'm getting from this is like a dystopian future, you know, somewhere set in like the near 2100, something like that. And everyone's a sheep. Everyone's a slave to society in some way. And this is them proclaiming, I am not, you know, I'm not one of them are, I'm not one of you or I'm not something. I'm not one of these sheeps. I am not. And it's sort of them self-proclaiming their individuality. Maybe I could be completely wrong. This is just my guess from the teasers, but I guess we'll find out when it comes out. When does this come out? Someone let me know in the comments below. Guys, what are your theories behind the Stray Kids? I am not teaser. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to support us, go ahead and get that Teespring merch over here. Get that red velvet bad boy design or this soft PD design. We have other designs at teespring.com stores slash final sale it ends march 31st so get them while you can also thank you to our monthly groupies we could not do this without you guys i'm going full-time on this channel and if you want to join us your support means so much to me go to patreon.com slash therapy for as little as two dollars a month you get early access to reaction videos like the j-hope reaction video and the stray kids reaction video you're going to get that early as well so tune in for that also for just a little bit more a month you actually get former therapy trading cards which are just now entering circulation but if you can't help us out monetarily that's completely fine why don't you just go ahead and click like down below it helps us out a lot it really does or just go ahead and click subscribe up here or get our merch down here or watch all our other videos over here